this video we'll go through the keyboard solo of Rosanna, how to make the sounds, how to play the various parts and some tips for live performance. First the sounds, of which there are six. A synth brass, a sign lead with delay, a thick soul lead, a brass section, a filtered pad, and finally a marimba and piccolo combo. The solo starts with a synth brass, and I hear two components in the recording. A synth part and a brass section. The brass section is simple. Use whatever your keyboard or sample library has, a name for brightness with a fast attack. We'll adjust the release slightly. The synth is constructed from a super saw. If you don't have one that's pre-made like this, a saw with detuned unison will do the trick. Longer attack and some release. We'll use a filter to cut most of the high end off. Then to make it sound like a synth brass, we'll modulate the filter with a medium attack and slow decay. To finish it off, we'll blend in some of the sampled brass section. On to the sign sound, which is very simple at its core. We start from a pure sign tone. And we'll simply increase the attack and release a bit to avoid sudden cuts. And there it is. But what makes this work in the song is a delay. It's half notes at 166 BPM, so 720 or so milliseconds. I use a ping pong delay to pan it to the left at the start. For a single loud delay, set the feed back to zero and mix to 50-50. In the recording the tail seems to have been taken off to avoid distractions, but unfortunately we're not able to do it while playing. And as the sign tails off, we have a thick saw lead. Again, we start with a super saw. This time with a fast attack, but we'll still make the release longer. For the wailing effect, we'll use a quick glide. Taking the top off with a filter again. But let's add some keyboard tracking to it, so that we keep the filter sounding more similar across the range. And finish off with some distortion. The filtered pad is next, and it starts with a saw. Then a bit of detune. Again. Adjust the release to be longer if you need to. Set the filter low and keyboard tracking all the way. With the filter envelope our goal is to create the sweeps in its chord. And also to allow the filter to open up the higher we go. So with a relatively high modulation amount, we set a medium decay. And enable velocity to control the modulation amplitude. This way we can control the sweeps to happen with increasing intensity and avoid them when sliding down. We 
we need to adjust the filter settings a bit. It's not a perfect reconstruction. The original may have had layers, but let's keep it simple. At the end of the solo, we have a single glissando. Now, it's not exactly clear what it contains, but it sounds percussive, breathy, and more complex than a single glissando. So I went with a piccolo and a marimba. Just as an educated guess, and to make the sound more interesting, we have them in fourths. This keyboard can't transpose individual layers, so I'll use the bend instead. Let's also add some delay to fill it up. Then as a finishing touch, let's apply some reverb to all of the sounds and we're done. Now let's go over how to play each section. The sheet music is also available in the description. The synth brass is relatively simple. Once you get over the fast embellishments and one jump, you'll be golden. The high sign part seems to cause a lot of trouble. I've seen most people just play the same line over and over again, imitating the delay effect. But when slowing down the recording, there's a clear two-part melody descending throughout. The solo lead picks up the last trait of the sign delay, and while it's not entirely clear, the line is not a simple descending scale. Also, when playing live, it may be easier to skip the small glissando in the sign line that's happening at the same time, and just land on A, like so. Then the brass lines. To be able to play this live, we'll skip the first line that overlaps with the sign and saw sounds. And to avoid switching, I've assigned my mod wheel to bring the brass forward and fade out the synth. Getting the filtered patch light timing and envelope velocity control right takes some practice. But it should sound something like this. And there we have it. As a side note, I'm using a pedal for switching programs. Here's the whole solo once more. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting, or that you have a keyboardist nearby who will think so. I didn't really find easy tutorials while trying to learn this myself, so have fun playing!